looking at the different narratives that we were talking about at the beginning of this year. Um, we were talking about the ones on this list simply based upon how different organizations are looking at them this year. Can you put this full screen so we can see all of them? Um, but if you take a look at the left side, right, we have um, the Bitcoin narrative, right? Everybody being bullish on Bitcoin with the ETFs makes sense. That will continue, um, especially here in April, as Coinbase noted. Um, then Ethereum and layer twos. Yeah, everybody's not everybody, but most players are bullish on these as well. Really kind of steady eddy gains, nothing too crazy there. Optimism has been doing well. Um, Maddox has been doing well. Ethereum has been doing well, but they haven't, you know, been outpacing Bitcoin too wildly or anything like that yet. Uh, layer ones. Now this is the main one throughout the entire bull cycle, which will always be relevant in my opinion. So layer ones are continuing to stay re relevant. Again, you're going to look at Solana and Ethereum, right? For kind of how the, your uh, other layer ones are doing. Um, and then infrastructure here, different types of technology, you know, is important, but um, I don't see beyond maybe derivatives or, or other layer ones where um, that's going to be really important for Q2. Uh, consumer applications, mm, those get popular quick, kind of like step in and different things you can use in crypto. But again, not like a major narrative that I'm looking to come around the corner. Now, GameFi, right? We already had AI take off basically. And I would say, fetch and uh ocean and agix coming together this is really kind of like a what do you call it? a checkpoint in the ai growth narrative so i think ai continues to stay a narrative but what hasn't popped yet is game right so we have different game projects uh throughout the space like alluvium doing well now in january right we had all of these organizations saying they were bullish right so we had hashed saying bullish on games with uh with many trading activities Coinbase said, not sure, um, but uh, they said Web3 games maybe next year. And I think this came out yeah, at the end of last year, right? So they're saying sometime in 24, but they're not sure when. Van X saying at least one mega hit. Um, we did see, what was that called? There's a game that's coming out for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. That's going to be a tokenized game uh, as well. I forgot what the name was right off the top of my head. Um, but it's a first person shooter. I think that one has a good chance of being a mega hit. Alluvium has a chance of being a mega hit. Um, so we'll see probably one of these, if not a few of these take off. Uh, New Era Games says A16Z. Brevin Howard said many big game names will go into Web3. Uh, Spartan agreed with Van X saying one mega hit. And then uh, Bitcoin Suisse, which I think is actually one of the more accurate ones on this list, um, says many big names uh, will go into Web3. Right. So everybody's going to try to go into Web3. I think Tone Coin ecosystem actually is one that's doing various things in the Web3 space, including gaming that a lot of people aren't paying attention to yet. That's a little bit of a nugget right there for you all. If, if you're not paying attention, then hopefully you are now. Um, but yeah, that that one there, I think you'll actually see a lot more build out in that ecosystem than I think a lot of people are anticipating right now in Q2. Um, but yeah, overall for the game five space, I would say Q2 is probably where if you don't get it popping off like crazy, at least you get it building to the upside and some more attention getting paid to the GameFi space. I don't see the GameFi space doing nothing in Q2, right? Like it, it continuing to be like a non-narrative. I think start, stuff starts basically bubbling at least, if not boiling uh, in the GameFi space. Now, NFTs, not quite yet, right? They're starting to, uh, I mean, they've already hit their lows. People can accumulate them, but mm, they tend to be slower across the market. So not yet. D-PIN, now this is one in Q2, talking about the crypto mindset course for Q2 is really important, I think, for people to know, right? And everybody here says very strong D-PIN growth, especially D-PIN growth that supports AI, according to Bitcoin Suisse. That's a kind of an important little detail right there as well, right? Um, if you if you take that into account when you're researching different deep in and AI projects, we've seen a couple over the last week um, when we're talking about them here on the stream. Those ones are kind of like where your nice little Goldilocks is if they have strong fundamentals, right? So deep in, I think is going to be a very strong narrative as well as these guys think it will be. Um, I think it's going to be a creeper of a narrative where people are kind of talking about it. They're talking about it a little bit more now, a little bit more. But you're not going to know about it, right, in the wider crypto space until everybody already has their position. Everybody's already been gaining coins, 
And then uh, basically they got their initial bag and then they want to pump it, right? That's where you're going to start hearing a lot more about deep end, especially when larger YouTube channels, like in the hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers start talking about it. Then, you know, they have money because they're starting to pay people to talk, right? Um, privacy, not really anything that I'm looking for in terms of privacy coins or anything like that in the next quarter, uh, tokenization. This is one that really Coinbase, um, was kind of focused on there, um, along with avalanche. Uh, and that's right now we're looking at band-aid solutions for tokenization because tokenization is going to require interoperability. It's going to require strong, uh, DeFi exchanges that basically the more decentralized they are, the less, less they are to get regulatory hit and stuff like that. Right. So, uh, the tokenization stuff is important, but it's, I think that's a wider net that you get on that narrative. So not like it, it's going to continue to stay important throughout the cycle, but in different ways. So maybe singular projects might be better for that than a wider net, uh, on that narrative. Um, UX important, but not crazy this quarter uh trading um yeah i mean that's with the institutions coming in uh and then yeah they have some other narratives as well but yeah it looks like basically game fi ai d pin right are some of the strongest narratives outside of layer ones infrastructure ethereum layer two stuff that we already know is uh pumping and hitting pretty well the only narrative well not the only narrative but one of the main narratives that they clearly don't have listed on here that they didn't discuss was meme coins Right. So meme coins <laughs> coming from the retail side and surprising a lot of these companies, to be honest.